I took my goat to the vet and we got some pretty bad news but uh, I guess the good thing is is we're at a place now that we know exactly what to do and we can go forward with that. The vet told us that there is no muscle mass in her body anywhere and especially in her legs they have atrophied and she will never recover. And so today we are going to put the goat down because she said that is the most humane thing we can do. And so that's what we're going to do today. She said she doesn't know if it was an autoimmune disease or what because the goat eats fine and she's just... Like I said, it has no muscle mass, no fat, and she's had other issues, which makes me think that she has CAE. Even though we tested for it, you can get a false negative, but on the side of her face, she had a lump, and then she also like just never looked really healthy. She um, doesn't have very nice fur, even though we treat her with copper bolus, we give her the selenium and other vitamins and stuff, and um, goat feed. And she just like has never really looked good no matter what we do and i know we've shared past videos on other goats with charlotte and charlotte kind of had similar issues but charlotte never had lumps and she was just always a weak sickly goat and towards the end we started um, getting her better and she was doing better but unfortunately we lost her to an accident and this goat we have treated her and done things but we've had no success with her so Today we are going to say goodbye to Chai and um, she's just suffering here. She's got swollen um, limbs here now because she can't get up and because of the pressure she's having to put on them to crawl around, it's causing um, <laughs> other issues. The first night that we noticed that Chai was sick, we went ahead and treated her with some medications and the next day, because she didn't get up, I went ahead and gave her some water mixed up with molasses to give her more energy in hopes that that was all that she needed and we brought her out of the tote because she couldn't get out and um, brought her to some grass that she could eat and she just laid there and ate grass and drank her molasses water. We gave her about a gallon of it a day and so this is the other half which is why she isn't drinking it as fast but she really did enjoy it and um, there were some other things that I went ahead and gave her I gave her red cell and I just put that inside of her water and that's just to replace some cells in case the parasites got to her some B complex some probios and also some CMPK which is also supposed to give more energy and I uh, just uh, put that in the water as well. And she did eventually drink it up. We're administering 20 mLs of CMPK every 20 minutes. So she just got her first dose and I will give her more here in a few minutes. My daughter moves her in and out of this toad and we replace grass for her when it's too hot, she goes in there. And when it's nice enough, we bring her out of the area to graze on the grass, which she eats and she drinks. So we're dumbfounded as to why she will not get up. Here's a lot of her bedding that we've taken out. Because she's not been active very much and kind of sits in her urine and next to her poop, the flies find her easily and just stay on her. So we decided to go ahead and spray her with some fly spray. We're gonna string our goat up and help her stand on her legs. Like a t-shirt? Yep, yeah. Mm-hmm. At least we thought that was going to be the plan, but it turned out to be a lot harder than we thought. We put a shirt on her front side and put a shirt on her back side and tried to string her up, but it did not work because for some reason the string just wanted to like lean her heavily one way or the other. And because she didn't use her legs at all to try and help and support herself, it was not possible. So what we ended up doing after this was just holding her up ourselves for about five minutes and then setting her down. And we did this a few times a day. 
but she was really patient with us and let us try to do these things without being ornery or aggressive with us. So it was a good experience to know what works and doesn't work. The next day we decided to try something new. So we had to put her inside this wagon and roll her to behind the house because this new method required us to keep an eye on her the entire time she was up in the sling, which we would have also done in the back of the property. However, um, the tools and things that we're gonna I was going to use were in the backyard. Now this sling worked much better. However, part of it was cut out so that she could release her poop in the backside and so it got ripped. So we had to make a new one and we made it out of this um, fabric that my husband has for moving furniture. And I just cut holes in it again and we fit the, the goat's legs through it. And then we all together pulled her up and then tied her up to the top of this little um, thing I had made that I was going to make a swing out of but never used so it's serving its purpose and while she was standing up I would rinse her off and massage her legs and just you know try to encourage blood flow to them but you can see she really does not stand on them and just kind of hangs there and enjoys eating and drinking and doing all the normal stuff except for um, standing up. After working with her for a few days, we noticed that her knees or her limbs started to get swollen and I thought, you know, maybe putting some comfrey on it and um, wrapping it up on there and letting it rest like that would heal um, whatever was going on there, but it really wasn't an injury. It's the body making up for um, her not using um, or taking the weight off of her knees and so it builds up fluid there to protect her. And then this is our routine every night is that we would clean out her tote and we would take her and put her back in her tote. And majority of the time, my daughter did this. And we'd make sure she'd have some food and some water and hay there so that if she wanted anything, she could have it.